I'm on my way to visit a young man who is not licensed to drive on Singapore roads. But while he can't legally drive a car, he gets to drive something else. Meet 20-year-old Hao Jie from the 48th Battalion Singapore Armoured Regiment. And this is what he drives, the Leopard 2A4 main battle tank. Though they are young, servicemen like Hao Jie are no less competent when it comes to driving this big cat. In fact, they take to the task with a huge sense of pride and confidence. Being able to like maneuver such a big thing is like a sense of achievement. Uh. Uh, when you see other people drive car, uh, they are like they can choose what they want to drive, but this one is like they choose you to drive the tank instead. Like, so you see it as a privilege instead. This metal monster packs a fully stabilized 120mm smoothbore gun that maintains accuracy even while on the move. It's also powered by a turbocharged V12 diesel engine that churns out 1,500 horsepower. With this power, it locks a 55-ton frame, about the weight of five public buses, at flat road speeds of more than 70 km per hour and 60 km per hour on cross-country terrain. When you're inside the tank, it feels like the tank is very powerful. Yeah. So you're a speed demon? <laughs> Something like that. In this classroom driver station, I found out how easy it is to drive the Leopard. In fact, the controls are built like a car's. This includes an extendable steering wheel, Accelerator. accelerator and brake, uh, and an automatic gearbox with forward and reverse settings. It also comes with left and right turn indicator lights and a very audible horn. Even though the Leopard drives easily, the driver has to go through rigorous training and testing to build his skill and confidence in manoeuvring the tank and getting it out of tight corners. These obstacles here are just a few of the 24 that he needs to learn to overcome. When you first go in, it's like quite scary because it's the first time you are maneuvering such a big tank. You have to go through a lot of practice. You must always be ready to learn. Don't be too complacent. Cross-training allows the four-man crew to take over each other's role during emergencies. It also helps them understand what each of them needs to do to meet mission objectives. We will learn about the turret and the gunner and loader will learn about driving so that in case any of us is injured, we can still operate the tank. Crew members have a complete trust in each other to get a job done in time. Uh, having complete trust in them can make sure that we bring out the full capabilities of the Leopard tank. Standing next to the Leopard, I can see why it takes a lot to handle such a huge responsibility. But having seen and heard how young men like Hao Jie are prepared for their role, I'm sure they'll be able to stand up to the task of providing security for Singapore with these big cats.